Disasters disrupt hundreds of thousands of lives every year. Every disaster can have lasting effects to both people and property. Being prepared can reduce fear, anxiety, and the loss that accompany disasters. For this reason, it's important that everyone, including you and me, be prepared. This video is one family story on how they prepared themselves for any disaster. You're about to see the Parker family, Mom, Dad, Zach, and Katie, as they participate in one of Zach's school projects and learn about disaster preparedness. Their actions show us the practical step every person and family needs to take to get ready in case a disaster should strike. Looks like Zach is just coming home with his assignment. Hey, I'm Zach Parker. I'm 12, almost 13, and this is my house. I got assigned a project today in Earth Science. My mom loves school projects. She really gets into them. Come on, I'll show you. Mom, I'm home. Hey, honey, I'm here at the computer desk. Hey. Hey. I got assigned an important project today. Okay. It's kind of cool, but I got to get you and Dad to help me. Oh, why is that? Because my teacher, Miss Davis, said we should get the whole family involved. Cool. It's really a project for all of us. It's about disasters. What kinds there are, what to do to prepare, and we need to put together a kit, uh, a disaster supplies kit. Okay. Let's see. Preparing for disaster. Wow, this does look really cool. And look, this is distributed by FEMA and the American Red Cross. Yeah, I can hardly wait. Oh, come on, Zach. We can make this fun. What disasters could happen around here, anyway? Oh, that's part of your homework assignment, Zach, to figure out what disasters can happen right here in your hometown. Because according to this book, Disasters can happen in anybody's hometown. Okay. Well, you know what? According to your teacher in this plan, there are four following easy steps that we need to do. All right? So, number one, we need to get informed. Number two, we need to make a plan. Number three, we need to assemble a kit. And number four, we need to maintain the kit. Okay. Okay? So, look here. She even lists some places that we can get information. Yeah, the local chapter of the American Red Cross and our local emergency management office. Exactly. But look down here. Before we even get started, she wants you to write down why you think she's given you this assignment. What do you think she wants you to learn from this? Well, first of all, she said it was important to know what disasters could happen around here. And... And then if you got ready, you could protect your home, right? keep your family safe, mm -hmm. even your pets. Exactly, Zach. You know, there looks like there are some really simple things that we can do to prepare for a disaster. And I really think that your dad and your sister can help us out with this, too. This looks like a very, very cool project. You know how much I love school projects. Great. A little quality family time. Oh, come on, Zach. Hmm. And it even says here that you get to make a presentation to your class. No way. Oh, come on, Zach. You're going to do great. You know that. Hmm. Where's that list again? Here you go, honey. Okay. First step is to get informed. Okay. You know, my teacher said that the Red Cross and the Emergency Management Office would have maps and stuff. Great. Hmm. Let's see, where is it? Ah, here it is. The Emergency Management Office. Okay, Zach. What's the telephone number? We'll go ahead and call him. 